This is Bengals Nation with Coach Marvin Lewis, presented by Banquet Pot Pies. Welcome to Bengals Nation here at the Holy Grail. Jen Dalton alongside Bob Herzog. We thank you for joining us this evening. And it was a tough loss on a weird, just a weird, weird day for the Bengals. Yeah. But I'll tell you, we're here to look forward. We're looking forward, not behind. Or no. And we're looking for another win. It's going to happen. Last game hurt my pancreas. No, it was, I really, it was just awful. Uh, I'll tell you what, the schedule here, though, at the Grail, it does not change. We have our fan games, of course, and we have the Bud Light football toss. We have the banquet tic-tac-toe toss. We also have the Cincinnati Sports League's football flicker. A continuous now. Love that name. That's the band up on the Eichler Golf Cars stage. We've got Brad and Marvin, of course. They're going to talk about the Kia key player of the game. And then the big man, tackle Anthony. Collins. He will be here to answer fan questions and sign autographs over at the Cincinnati Bell autograph table as well. That's right, but time now to send it over to Brad and Coaster at Paul Brown Stadium. And guys, I gotta tell you, I, I hate a loss. It's as hard. It, no. it hurts. It puts me in a bad mood. And look at him. It puts him in a bad mood too. Angry. Brad, please tell me things are gonna change. Please. Well, thank you, Jen. We'll do our very best to make you feel better. Uh, Coach and I are gonna break it all down this week. We're gonna go through the tough loss at Miami, a very difficult loss on the defensive line. We'll break that all down, and we'll talk about how he's getting ready for the Baltimore Ravens. Do all of that and so much more as we get ready. For now, I know you're ready back at the Holy Grail. We'll send it back to Mike, who's got a special guest. All right, thanks a lot, Brad. We're here at the Cincinnati Bell autograph table with Anthony Collins, backup offensive tackle, who has certainly not played like a backup this season, doing a great job filling in for Andrew Whitworth, going up against some of the best pass-rushing right defensive ends in the league. And things on that left side of the line when AC plays are, are fairly quiet. That's the way you want it. We'll have more with Anthony coming up later on in the show. In the meantime, let's send it back to you and the coach. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Marvin, this was a tough one on, uh, on a lot of fronts. You, you guys were riding high on a four-game win streak. Short week. Uh, I always talk about how I hate the short weeks in the NFL. Coaches and players hate it even more. Uh, a lot of injuries. Wet field. Turns out to be a very weird game. A lot of mistakes. Your overall take on your team, disappointed in your team's performance in Miami at all? Yeah, we, uh, we had a op couple opportunities to win the football game, and, and, and actually probably, probably should have won the football game going away, but we certainly had a couple opportunities to close the game out, and, and we failed to do that. And I, that's a disappointing thing, uh, you know, as we had a, a good week of preparation. The week is what it is. There's mm -hmm. no reason to whine about it. It is what it is, and you just have to get ready and go play. We did that. And we had opportunities to make plays to win the game, and we failed to do it. We'll break down some more of the Miami Dolphins game a little bit later on. First, let's head into the locker room, hear what the players are saying about facing the Ravens. The, the guys that are out there playing are a little different, so, um, no, I, I think there's some things that you see that they've done in the past that they maybe aren't doing as much now, but, um, I mean, for the most part, they're, they're very similar. For the Kia Key Player of the Game, brought to you by the Greater Cincinnati Kia Dealers. And it's always tough in a loss, but we did have one standout player, and he made one of the more remarkable plays you'll see in the NFL this season. That player of the game is. Yeah, Jen, he had the video game play, but he had much more than that. Giovanni Bernard, our player of the week, over 100 total yards on the ground and through the air, two touchdowns, and now nine games into his NFL career, six TDs, not bad. 628 total yards from scrimmage, second on the team behind only A.J. Green. Giovanni Bernard, our player of the week. Well, Coach, with Gio as our player of the week, uh, you knew what you were getting in Gio. That's why you drafted the guy. Is he exactly what you anticipated you were going to get? He really has been. And uh, I, I think from, from my standpoint, uh, you know, in, in trying to translate and, and envision him playing on NFL field, uh, what he's been able to do as a runner on the interior, uh, inside the tackles, has been outstanding. And uh, he had another goal line touchdown again. He's just been an excellent runner uh, at finding the creases when we get down inside the 10 yard line. He's been excellent at that, and he did it again this week as well. You learn about guys as you go. And when you have playmakers, you figure out ways to get them the ball. Does it change your offensive scheme when you find out guys can do more? or continue to do more for you? Well, I think you have to try and get, yeah, there's no doubt we want to get the ball in their hands more often and create ways to get the ball in their hands, particularly when they're a good open field runner as Gio is and Marvin Jones has proven to be as we've gone mm -hmm. on. Uh, Gino's a huge loss. Now eight guys on the defensive side that, that go on IR. Do you have the players that you feel on your team 
to fill the holes that you need to fill. Well, we've got to fill them and go. <laughs> and uh, there's no, uh, uh, you know, we have to, they, they, you know, we're not going to create a new guy. So uh, we've got to, to use what we have, and the guys have to play better. Now, we've got some very fine players on this team, both defense and offense, and so they've got to rise up and do a better job and play better for us. All right, when we see you next, we will be in the coach's room. We will break down some of the film from Miami, do a little telestration. For now, let's send it back to the Holy Grail and Jen. Thanks, Brad. Are you tired of cooking the same meal over and over, running out of ideas at dinner time? Well, don't forget to pick up your family's favorite meals. Salisbury steak and chicken pot pie banquet. So good for so little. Time now to send it over to Mike. He's with Anthony Collins. All right, thanks a lot, Jen. We're back here at the Cincinnati Bell autograph table with Anthony Collins, the offensive tackle, doing such a great job filling in for Andrew Whitworth. You know, you told me after the game last week in Miami that you prepare yourself as if you're a starter. But in reality, how difficult is that to do when you're not the starter? Because it, it, it's not the same. It's very difficult. Uh... You have to be strong-minded. You have to be strong-minded. You have to know that at any time, any point of the game, things could change, and you could be in there protecting your quarterback like you was the starter. So it's, it's, it's very mental. You have to be mentally strong, and uh, it takes a special guy to do that. All right, Anthony Collins doing a great job on the left side of the offensive line, filling in for Andrew Whitworth from time to time. We'll have more with Anthony here at the Cincinnati Bell autograph table later on in the show. It is time, time for the first fan game of the night. You know it, you love it. It's the Banquet Pot Pie Tic-Tac-Toe Toss. We have Annie from Hyde Park. We have Nicole. She's from Dayton, Kentucky, and they're going to go head-to-head. -head. I'm going to give you the Banquet logos, okay? I'm going to give you the Bengals logos. Winner is getting that Banquet gift card. Nicole, get us started. Oh, you were denied. I'll all my friends in Fayetteville, too. Oh, don't. Can't forget the Fayetteville friends. Annie, oh, a little deep. Oh, my gosh. There's a, oh. Middle of the board. One more for you, and then we'll get them, and we'll, we'll keep going. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh, ball game. Wow, that is it. Congratulations to both. Good effort, but she got her three in a row to start. Annie, good job. Nicole, great job. Let me get that gift card for you. There you go. Enjoy. As a continuous now sends us to break, stay with us here on Bengals Nation. So much more. Anthony Collins, he's going to take some fan questions. Brad Marvin, they're over at the Telestrator. And the Bud Light football toss is on the way. It's all on the way. Coming up on Bengals Nation. Welcome back to Bengals Nation, sponsored by the Holy Grail. Come on down to the Holy Grail, Cincinnati's home for all Bengals games with 30 HD TVs, surround sound, great food, and bucket specials. This is the place to be for all Bengals games, both home and away. Your search is over. You found the Holy Grail. All right, time now to send it over to Brad and Coach. They're at the Telestrator, guys. Jen, we are now in the coach's room. Time to telestrate. Break down some of the plays from the Dolphins game. Coach, lead the way. Well, starting out with a third down play on defense we see here in the first quarter. And uh, it was a big stop here. We got them, you know, semi backed up. So it was a big stop. Anytime you can get a third and one stop on defense, you know, those are game changers. And we do a great job here penetrating by Michael Johnson. Penetrates here. And uh, we're able to get the stop there. And we turn it around and look. And you can see here the penetration Michael gets. James is strong at the point, pushes the, uh, the lead blocker back into it. And, uh, and we're able to make a nice play here by uh, Vinny Ray uh, tackling the back in the hole. So that's third and one. And then a play that doesn't start out so well is the toss play, which we originally, we play it pretty well. We want to bring this ball back here. We don't want to, 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 to uh, spin inside like Vontez does. We've got to get off the block here by Terrence. Vinny Ray misses the tackle there. And then coming over, we've got to get the ball carrier. George has got to use the ball carrier, pin himself to the sideline, and use that kind of that 12th man. And we don't get that done. But then in a great hustle play by Carlos Dunlop down here of stripping the football. And then Adam Jones uh, picking it up, recovering it, and then returning it. And then we got to turn into an offensive convoy. So we do a great job of returning the ball back down the field. We just need one more cut uh, right there, and we got really got a shot. So you'll see it from behind. Uh, we want to keep containing this football there. We don't want to spin back inside, okay. get off the block there. There's the missed tackle. And here we got to do a great job of getting him Use the sideline. The sap. That's right. And then you see Carlos here coming. Never gives up. Good hustle there. Balls out. And then the recovery by Adam. 
The next play I'm going to go is on offense here. And again, just talking about the running game, uh, we did some good things in the running game. We want to be more consistent. My word for the week last week, we weren't consistent enough in anything. But here we got everybody locked up here, locked up here, and we're running through, and we got a good shot at good yardage. You see from behind. So we're boom, they're running a blitz here. They're running a safety blitz. So we pick up the blitz. Here's the free defender. Sometimes the running back's got to make one miss in the hole. And Ben Jarvis does a great job of that, making him miss in the hole. And we're locked up, and everybody else is on there, and we're out for the races. Okay. And then probably one of the most exciting plays of the day, we've got the toss play for Geo out here. Their corner comes a great job, does a great job in support. We don't get him blocked well enough here. And then we go from there, and Geo reverses this field. And then he's able to pick up a convey of players here, including our quarterback, Andy Dalton, with right there. So, and you see Geo does the rest of the work, 84, Jermaine Gresham uh, coming, and then we're able to get him in the end zone. So, again, a great job here of working his way here. He's able to reverse field, makes miss there. And now at this point, he basically goes untouched the rest line. of the way. Run of the year. So great job. You win the game. That's on the highlight reels. It's on the highlight reels no matter what, but it makes it a little more fun if you win the game. All right, we're done with Miami. We're going to be heading to Baltimore and talk about the Ravens from here on out. First, let's send it back to the Holy Grail. Mike's got a little Q&A. Bengals offensive tackle Anthony Collins will take the questions from you, the fans. Which player on your team could be a professional in another sport? I'm going to say Kyle Cook, my center, because he played golf every day. He plays golf every day, so he, I guess he could be a good golfer. I don't never go out there, but he come to work every day and talk about golf, so I hope he'll be good. When did you know you wanted to be an NFL player? I want to say uh, two years before I got to the NFL. Um, we had a good team at, at KU, and uh, a couple of coaches were telling me that I could make it to the next level. And then the following year, I went to the Orange Bowl, and my best friend, uh, Keith Tlaib, went into the draft. And so I followed him because we always made amends that if he, if he leaves, I was going to leave. So I followed him to the NFL, and I got drafted, and I knew I could be an NFL player after that. All right. So do you have any hidden talents? No. No hidden talents. I can't sing. I can't bowl. I can't shoot pool. The only hidden talents I can do, and I call it as a talent, I can be a great friend. What's your favorite song to sing in the shower? <laughs> all of R. Kelly songs. All right, there you go. I sing all of R. Kelly songs. Let's hear it for Anthony Collins. He'll be at the uh, Cincinnati Bell autograph table. Time now for the Bud Light football toss. And joining me this week is Joe from Dayton, Kentucky, right? Yes. All right, Joe, you have five footballs to get through the holes over there. So you're trying to get one in each hole. Do you think you can get at least one? I'm going to try. He's going to try. I like his attitude. So I'm going to back up. You go ahead. Your balls are right there, ready to be tossed. And while he's doing that, oh, I'm going to remind you that you need to come on down to the Holy Grail for all Bengals games, both home and away. They've got great food, great buckets, specials of Bud Light, and it's a great environment. And Joe, you got one more. I believe in you on this one. Oh, so close. But you know what? I liked your style, so you get a Bud Light prize pack anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Joe, for playing. Stay with us on Bengals Nation. Coach Marvin Lewis has what to expect out of the Baltimore Ravens. And more from a continuous now on the... Welcome back to Bengals Nation, presented by Banquet Pot Pies. Keep it going for a continuous now up here on the Eichler Golf Cars stage. Sounding so good. These guys hail from Cincinnati. You can find their videos on YouTube. You can also look them up on Facebook at Reverb Nation, also on SoundCloud. All you have to do is search a continuous now. We'll put some links on local12.com as well. But for right now, we got to send it back over to Brad and Coach. And Brad... I do not like the Ravens, and I always thought Edgar Allan Poe was a bit of a slouch, really more of a throw man. And so with that, I'll throw it back to you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Bob. You are and always have been quite the scholar. All right, let's head into Baltimore. This is probably a, a wounded Ravens team. They're not quite the birds that they were hoping to be this year. But as you and I both know, it seems every year, it doesn't really matter what the records are when you head into Baltimore. No, this is a team that uh, 
Uh, we know still has a lot of fine players. They haven't won the games they envision winning yet, but uh, we know we're going into an alley, and so we got to get ready to go, and we got to we got to get after it. Uh, we got to out hustle them, out work them, out hit them. Flacco with his playoff run a year ago kind of cemented his spot as one of those quote unquote elite quarterbacks. He gets paid, he he gets the respect, but he hasn't had the year following that up. That a lot of people would say, and as we always know, the quarterback shoulders a lot of the blame. Your take on Joe Flacco so far this year? Well, that's correct. I mean, uh, you know, he, he's as the quarterback spot. You've got to be able to to be the dynamic player, and uh, um, you know, uh, we got to get good pressure on him. You got to get pressure around Joe Flacco in order to have an opportunity to be successful against him. He's got a wonderful deep and long arm. Uh, they're doing a lot of things underneath right now, and so. Uh, we've got to do uh, create some breaks and get some balls tipped up in the air and make some things happen. Ray Rice isn't having his Ray Rice year, but you and I both know that we always go into all of these weeks talking about you have to count for 27 because he can change the game. We do. We have to count for him. You have to account for him as a runner. You have to count for him on screens. You have to account for him on checkdowns. Uh, those are the things that uh, that he does so so well. So we've got to get pads and shoulder pads and, and people around him and 11 guys to the football. They were hoping that. Torrey Smith could be that long ball guy. He's proven to be the long ball guy. 15 over 20 yard catches. That leads the league right now. Yeah, he still has the tremendous speed that he possesses, and uh, uh, he's doing a, a much better job, I think, of making the, the catches. You know, he's been more consistent. As, if every year goes on, he becomes a more consistent catcher of the football. Bengals and Ravens Sunday afternoon, and then Sunday night. Sports Authority breaks it all down for you. Dave Lapham at the Telstrator. Our Who Asked You guest will be in the studio. All the plays that matter from every angle, that's on the Sports Authority Sunday night after Local 12 News at 11. When we see you next, it's Marvin's must to take down the Ravens. First, for now, let's send it back to the Holy Grail in my game. All right, thanks a lot, Brad. Looking forward to hearing what Coach Lewis thinks is the key to beating the struggling 3-5 and five Ravens. Time now, though, for our OU Get Educated segment. As you know, the Bengals lost a whole lot more than just a football game last Thursday night in Miami as they lost defensive tackle the All-Pro Geno Atkins for the remainder of the season with a torn ACL. So now it's Brandon Thompson's turn in this league. The next man up is always just one play away. That's how this business is. You know, it's just one of those things where it's sad to say, you know, something like that happens. It gives, you know, plenty of guys around the league, you know, they got their start from guys going down in front of them. So, you know, that's the nature of the beast. Time now for our final fan game. It is the Football Flicker brought to you by the Cincinnati Sports Leagues. And joining me tonight are John and John. And guys, I'm going to give you each two footballs. You've got them already. And the, game, the goal is to try to get, of course, a field goal. So, John, I'm going to have you go ahead first. He's concentrating. Oh, so close. Oh, he's, again, once again, very close. Now, John, I'll have you step back here. And, John, you can go right on up there. You can go all the way up to the 30-yard line if you'd like. Oh, you go, did it go in? It did? All right. All right, John. Here you go. You are our winner. You get a gift certificate. Thank you both for playing tonight. Hope you had fun. Excellent job. More on the way from the Holy Grail on Bengals Nation. Mike has more with Anthony Collins. And you can't miss Marvin's Must. All coming up on Bengals Nation. First, stay tuned for a message from our friends at Wellington. Get well, get Wellington. You want back in the game. No one knows this better than the trusted professionals at Wellington Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. There's never a good time or place to get injured. That's why we have six locations close to where you live. And offer after-hours care at our Anderson facility. Wellington helps local high school athletes, weekend warriors, and even professional competitors to beat their injuries. Visit us at wellingtonortho.com or find us on Facebook. Want back in the game? Get well. Get Wellington. Welcome back to Bengals Nation, presented by Banquet Pot Pies. If you have not heard about Cincinnati Bell's Spy Optic Services, you need to check them out. Enjoy over 375 crystal clear channels, as well as internet speeds of up to 100 megabits per second. Call Cincinnati Bell to see if Spy Optic Services are available in your home. Certain restrictions apply and see store for details. Cincinnati Bell, powered by Spy Optics. Time now to send it over to Mike. He's with Anthony Collins. All right, thanks a lot, Jen. Spending our last minute or two with Anthony Collins, left tackle the Bengals and look I'll ask you about the Ravens no Ed Reed no Ray Lewis they are very different but they still have Haloti Nada they still have Terrell Suggs they've added Chris Canty who has Super Bowl experience you can't let your guard down against that team despite their record despite they're missing some future Hall of Famers no they're still the Ravens 
to me, they still the Ravens. They still look like the Ravens on film. Uh, they record don't show it, but uh, they have a lot of great guys on that defense, man, and we're going to come to play. All right, Anthony Collins, we'll look forward to it tomorrow at 1 o'clock here on Local 12. Thanks for your time tonight. We appreciate it. No problem. All right, Coach, you're 1-1 one one in the division. Kind of extra important that you go 2-1 and one in the division after this one. It's your must to take down Baltimore. Well, we're going in the, and as I said earlier, we're going to go in the, to an alley fight, and we've got to be ready to go fight. And, uh, I mean, it's going to be... Uh, <laughs> Uh, this is going to be a very vivid uh, game and uh, a lot of colorful words. So uh, we got to get after it, and uh, it's going to be a fight, and we got to come out on top. I like it. We're waiting for a vivid game on Sunday, folks. We appreciate you being a part of this, as always, every week. For Mike, Bob, Jen, everybody who's shown up. For the coach, I'm Brad Johansson. Thanks for joining us this week, and until next, good day. Promotional consideration provided by Ohio University. It's you. Banquet. So good for so little. Cincinnati Sports Leagues. Bringing you the best adult sports leagues, happy hours, and events in the city since 2001. Eichler. Largest selection of big toys for big boys. Holy Grail. Your search is over. You found the Holy Grail. Bud Light. An official sponsor of the Cincinnati Bengals. And Cincy Apparel. Cincinnati's premier supplier of custom t-shirts, corporate wear, and promotional products.